Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're keeping well. Hope you're having a good time wherever you are, whether it's breakfast time in America or um, bedtime in Australia. I think. Anyway, good afternoon. I'll just bring the worms in and uh, let you see who we've got. We've got Mark and we've got Scott today. So they're going to. Hello, hopefully... everybody. Keeping me up to date and keeping you amused. And what we are going to be doing today, I will pop them back out and bring the overhead camera on. What I've got is a, a nice piece of ash with loads and loads of character in the green. Uh, I am probably going to be colouring it mainly because of the green, because it is that nice. So I'll just pop it on and let you have a look. Do you want to start going through the chat, Scott? Yeah, Do let's mind? have a look. Yeah, so I apologize if I miss anyone before because my chat doesn't go all the way back for some reason. Um, we've got Jay Wooden Things. Robbo Robertson, Amy, uh, Ian in the shed, Andy Heath, Terry Bray, Julian Clary, Mike Lang, uh, Robertson, Bob, Colin Roberts. Robert Dolman. Uh, Loads of people. Thanks for having me. Mike. Her Hello, Peter. Mike. Getting splinters with John. Um, Steve Young. Shay. Keith Sin. Daddy. Hey, Keith. Uh, Barry Oak. Um, I think that's everyone I can see in my chat. Apologies if I've missed everyone. Well, anyone. Did you say Shay Lenahan? I did say Shay. Um, Steve if, Young. Yeah. As always, guys, if anyone's got a question, if you can just prefix it with question, then um, we'll try not to miss it. Um, right. So we're turning it just over 800 revs. I'm going to be using my <coughs> 3 its bull gouge to rough this down. And the reason I'm using the bull gouge is because the grain in this is going everywhere. So this 31 in. Brilliant. Uh, yes, Ian, today we are all here. Nobody is a figment of our imagination. Everybody is happy. Yeah. Everyone turned up for one today. They didn't want to watch me last night. <laughs> Kim Dickerson's in. Back in. Jennifer's just joined. Hi, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Uh, Martin at Woody Creations. Just See, with Keith not being here, I'm never sure if he's here any anyway. No, that, old, that old age, Keith. The old age is getting to him. He might be there in person. But... <coughs> I love you really, Dad. What makes it even weirder is he's not really your dad. I know. I know. Don't spoil the illusion. Yeah. Same as Barry's but hey, hey. Yeah, do this, JP. <laughs> <laughs> They're closer to France than we are, though. It's like I'm not really an alcoholic. I put everybody's mix. Mike, 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 So. Let's put it in there. It's the day before the big event tomorrow. Uh, 
I hope you're all looking forward to it as much as we are. Um, despite some of the nerves and bits, it's set to be a cracking day. Yeah, and just to remind everybody, I'll be on an hour earlier. So I'll be on at lunchtime, not one o'clock. Um, start off tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. with okay. Jamie Page, um, myself at 11. Wayne is on at 12. Uh, Dale is then on at 1. We then go on to the continent to Greece uh, for Costas at 2. Uh, Heidi's in the States, isn't she? She is. Yeah, yeah, so we then go across the pond to the States, uh, back over uh, for Heidi at three, back over here for Martin Sabian Smith at four, and he's going to be doing some carbon at five, uh, and then we're back to the pond. Um, where we've got Cameron at six, Scott Grove at seven, Mike Early at eight, Dreadnought uh, Woodshop at nine, Braxton at ten, Zach Higgins at eleven, Roper would turn in at twelve, and finishing uh, at one a.m. BST with Carl Jacobson. So it's going to be an epic day. Um, go on to the website. Um, make sure you're subscribed to all those turners. Uh, hit the bell and you'll get a notification just before they start. Um. Uh, Ian in the shed is asking, what speed are you turning at at the moment, Wayne? Sorry? What speed are you turning at at the moment? Uh, just over 800. Um, Terry, yes, every um, event that happens tomorrow will be on each individual's um, Channels. YouTube channel. So... Once you're in a position to watch it, you'll be able to go on their channels and catch right. up. Right. And what I've done on my um, for my time slot in the description of the video, um, I've got all the I've got the running order and I've got the links to all of the channels. Yeah, I've done that with mine. Um, I think most people have. <laughs> So John says he's going to be getting in so much trouble tomorrow with the wife watching YouTube all day. As it starts at 5am there on the East Coast. Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling there's going, to, there's going to be a lot of spousal driving going on tomorrow. Uh, Here you go, dear. Here's the credit card. Go shopping. That, that's why I did all the lists yesterday. Of jobs that have to be done. Um, also tomorrow, um, you'll have the normal, um, turners that do demos on Saturday. So Ed Oliver in the morning, you'll have Nick in the evening. Um, it's going to be a very busy day on YouTube. I'm going to upset Mark. Mark, I'll leave Mark with the chat for a minute because I'm about to eat a cookie. Oh, man. Seriously. Yeah. Mm, Mark, that tastes really good. I hate you with a passion you'll never understand. <laughs> so. Oh, Sid's in. Hi, Sid. Hello, Sid. Nice to see you. Hear you. Greet you. Whatever. Ah, talking of the French, we is being invaded by Barry. Bonjour, Barry. How are you, Barry? I'm eating cookies. Barry's eating croissants. <laughs> Uh, 
All right then. Get the tail stop moved out of the way. <clears throat> Get rid of the drive. So what are people up to at the moment? Has anyone been in the workshop today or? I've, I've been fil filming a video this morning. Got the edit to do this afternoon. I hopefully premiere it this evening. So cool. Keep an eye out. Ah, JP has just given you a super chat, Wayne. This is Wayne's oh. going to join the funnel club. <laughs> no, he <laughs> won't. You're not there with a hammer. <laughs> um, Amy's lying in bed, keeping warm. Steve's working. Midnight Joker's making drawers. Martin's making a website. And I think Ian is supposed to be doing some uni work, but he's not. Um, <laughs> Sid's hoping to get the shop set up um, so he can do some video stroke lives this weekend. Good. Right, I'm just going to start shaping this. It has got a big crack here. Uh, it has got some big <coughs> So I'll probably have to redo that. All of this bark inclusion should go, but we will see. So Ian's asking what we're doing today. We're going to do a, a coloured hollow form, I believe. Yeah, some sort of hollow form vase type thing. Um, Paul Smith, good afternoon. Hiya, Paul. Barry's stuck at work till five. Then he's off to Anne Summers to pick up his rabbit. And then he's going to start the tiling. <laughs> and Barry Oaks is he's watching some bloke called Wayne the Woodturner. Good way to kill an hour. What's the weather like where you are, Mark? Uh, chilly and overcast. Oh. JP says he's done seven subs of his 5K and then he'll do his giveaway. So if you're not subscribed to JP, um, why not? Pop over, why yeah, not? Pop, exactly. Yeah, why not? Pop over <clears> to <throat> Jamie's channel. You right if I share the link, Wayne? Yeah. So JP's got some really uh, cool bits to give away. Um, he's got a blank from, I believe it's that. No, it's Jake. Jake Thompson. Thompson. Jake Thompson, okay. Nah, who's this? He's got uh, a number one hollower from Easy Wood. Um, yeah. So if um, you're not subscribed to JP. Michael, I don't think Emma's on YouTube tomorrow. I think she's doing a Zoom. <clears throat> There's. Um, yeah, yes, Emma is doing a masterclass, which is a, a paid for event tomorrow. Yeah, there's the uh, link for JP's channel. So let's see if we, like we got me to 300 last night. Let's see if we can get JP to uh, 5,000. And if you're not subscribed to Wayne, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Is that a new type of turning tool, Wayne? Yeah. It's called a picker outer, <laughs> otherwise known as a screwdriver. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Neil Devonshire's in the chat. Hello, Neil. Hi, Neil. He's just subscribed, apparently. Well done. Thank you.
Neil, are you actually a Devonshire? Or are you a Neil who lives in Devon? Let us know, because I'm just over the border in Cornwall. Jana Smith just joined the chat. Hello, Jana. Thank <coughs> you. Hello, Mick. There you go. Keith says JP is one off now. Yeah, JP will be the first demo tomorrow, so hit that sub, hit that bell. I've just popped the link into mine because um, I'm the second. Um, again, I'll just add them as we go through. So is that a piece of the ash from what you've been processing, mine this week? No, it's not. This is a piece I've had for quite a while. Uh, in fact, this is the last piece. Did you save the best for last? Uh, well, I'm hoping so, because the grain is uh, particularly nice in this. <clears throat> Don't start aiming off with the songs again, Mark. Amy's just said, am I going to serenade them again today? No. Um, you, should, yeah. you should wait till I've had a few beers. Yeah, be the, the sphere I made in my life is all finished. If you check out my Instagram, the pictures of the finished item are on there. Thank you for watching. Right, so that's the shape I'm going for. I like that. Um, I'm not going to do anything about the cracks because if I fill the cracks in with CA glue, um, when I come to colour it, the CA glue is going to affect the colouring. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get my drill and drill out the middle. I'll not do any finishing on the outside until I've drilled out the middle. <clears throat> There's brilliant sunshine when I come in the workshop. Who in it down there? See if I can find a marker pen. It rained some in the night here, I tell you. Belted it down. Hook me up. It's raining that hard. <laughs> My fire woke the kids up last night. Whoops. <laughs> However, all the builder's crap and all the stuff's gone now. No. Ah, seeing Keith saying it's fine where he is, I need to give him a call. I've got some bits for him. Baz is saying, I've got a blue pencil if you need one, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have blue pencils. Not anymore. You left them all at Dale's. Mate, it was blocked before I even got to the, uh, on the live. I blame Wayne. Or do you reckon Dale did it just to, uh, you know, I'll teach him. No, I'm blaming Scott because it was his idea to go on the lathe in the first place. Everyone blames me, mate. Right, so I might have to take a bit off the top of this because this is going to be very, very thin. Mick Jew says if the wind carries on where he is, he's going out with a wheelbarrow later to collect all the fallen branches. <clears throat> uh, Colin, I've just finished filming the video for the unboxing of my new toy. It should be out this afternoon, early evening. Oh, here we go. See, look, Baz is right. The youngest always gets the blame.
If I'm the youngest, does that mean I can roll around on the floor and have a tantrum? You can go and stand in the corner and hold your breath until you go blue. <laughs> and then I'm going to scream and scream and scream. I ain't going to fall for the long wait on the left-handed mallet, though. The oldest gets the strife. Oh, who's the oldest in the group? That's got to be Wayne. <laughs> oh, no, Keith. Keith. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought I got the blame for being the oldest and supplied the wood. No, it was very nice wood. The um, bowl that I did, you saw how wonky it went in the end. Mark. Yeah. Yeah, I give it to a mate and he's... Um, he's oiled it a few times. It was really nice now. Oh, Mick says, what about the skirting board ladder? Mm -hmm. If I want camouflage paint, I just have to ask Wayne, because he used to be in a Remy. Amy, you're the same age as me, so uh, you're one of the youngest. Oh, that's... I'm going to have to get this drill out, and... Um... So Neil Devonshire uh, says, nice work. It's the first time on here, although he has to disappear to go and do some video, in, video editing himself. Thanks for coming in, Neil. Uh, cheers for coming in, Neil. <laughs> JP says, I even wear a nappy. It's better wearing a nappy than wearing ten of men like you, JP. Ah, uh, and Ian in the shed says he's only thirty-six, so that makes everything his fault. Here's a noise. And, uh, yeah, thanks for that. Eli, Eli Two Meadows has joined. He says he's here, but the garage Wi Fi keeps dropping out. I'm still uncertain if that's Ellie or Eli. It's Ellie. I thought it was Ellie. Whenever I spell Eli, it's always spelt with one L. I always thought Eli was N's <coughs> IE. Yeah. Your camera's gone a bit blurry, Wayne. Oh, has it? Yeah, it's a bit pixelating. I don't know whether it's your internet oh, or whether it's your camera. Uh, if, it's, if it's pixelating, it'll be the internet because it's in focus. Yeah. Nice. Hold on to, hold on to. Neil says, see you next week. Don't forget, Wayne not only does a Friday lunchtime, he does a Monday lunchtime, and his main live is a Wednesday evening at 8 o'clock. Okay, so it is Ellie. Um, and she's only 26, so she can get the blame. Uh, John Mooney's just joined, says greetings from his chuck in Ger Ger I can't even Germany. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Try that in English. Oh, 
Oh, Baz, you're uh, pushing it there with that comment. <laughs> Ellie, you're getting the blame for being the youngest. There's always the youngest that's in the wrong. Jana Smith has joined, said she went to Germany once. Some was stationed there. Whereabouts? Yeah. Jay, we know the camera's getting bad. We think it's uh, Wayne's internet. K-Town, Wayne. Sorry? K-Town. K-Town. Don't recognise that. <laughs> yes, Scott. Read it as it was written. <laughs> Germany. <laughs> and Mike saying, don't you just hate opening toolboxes the wrong way up? Oh, bugger. Oh, no, dear. Don't, don't do that. Okay. Guys um, are slaughtering. I'm glad you said that. That's why you need young kids, Mark. Um, Mike, just get them to come in here and pick yep. stuff up. Kaiser Schlotten. All right. Kaiser Schlotten. What about from Germany, is that? <laughs> Very well, the middle. When I went with cadets, we went to... Uh, is it Hona? Hona, that's way up north. Wayne from Barry Oaks. Yeah. He says, uh, what tool are you using to hollow out? Right. I started off using um, the Simon Hope um, carbide. That's what I started off using. I then went on to a bigger Simon Hope, just with a round high-speed steel cutter on it. Uh, I am now using... The Robert Sorby Sovereign system. I'm just doing a few straight cuts at the moment, so that's why I've got this tip on. I am going to be changing tips in a minute to do a bit further down. Is that the Sovereign or the Turnmaster? It's. I'm sure it's the Sovereign, or is it the Turnmaster? I can never remember. Because I actually got this given, so it's not on the. Um, 
I think someone said in your live the other night that it was the turnmaster. Okay, it's the turnmaster. Yeah, Keith says it's the turnmaster. Yeah, it's the it's the hollowing one. It's not the one with the gouges. Yeah. It's the one with all the, the hollowing bits. I think the gouges is the sovereign. Yeah. And the hollowing bits is the turnmaster. Lab, please join. Good afternoon. Hi, Bob. Hello. Hello, Bob. Forty-nine in at the minute. Oh, and Nick just joined. Howdy, Nick. Hey, Nick. Hello, Nick. Karen. Hi, Karen. Michael says his butler's just brought his lunch to his buddy. He has Nick a butler. <laughs> Nick apologises for missing some of the lives, but he's been busy sorting stuff out. That's all yeah. right, Nick. <laughs> I've got to apologise for missing, especially lunchtime <laughs> lives, because they usually fall asleep and then don't wake up in time for them. <laughs> um, Alfred, Alfred. 521628. I think that's a new name. Hello, Alfred. Welcome along. If it's your first time here, we're a friendly bunch. We don't bite, but we're all as mad as the bag of hammers. No, I'm mad as a box of frogs. That too. Or as a bag <laughs> of cats. <laughs> mad as a bag of cats. Oh. And Julian Clifford's in. Hello, Julian. Colin King's joined as well. Hi, Colin. Hey, Colin. Um, so for those that have joined and aren't aware, um, I put the link in for the event tomorrow. Um, that shows you the running order. Fifty five in when? Just joined. Hiya, Rob. Hello, Robocop. What sort of thickness are you going to on them walls, Wayne? Sorry? What thickness are you going to on those walls? Yes. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> right, right up at the top here, it's about one mil. 
Okay. Um, and then it's gradually going down. I'd say that's about... I'd say it's a bit less than one mil where that hole is. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's a, it's a, where my thumb is now. It's around about, um, I'd say about five or six mil there. Where that hole is, you've let the uh, inside diameter get a bit bigger than the outside. No, I haven't, because the outside diameter is this part. <laughs> <laughs> all right clever clocks I, I could I, I, actually i could um take this wall a bit thinner right here where this other inclusion is and have another hole there i could i might not but i could so time John, yet. john's saying you think after watching all these lives i'd be a professional by now It's all right when you watch, you know, tumbles all like we are now, the wizard of the wood coming in. The wizard of spinning wood. Mike the Midnight Joker says, three more passes, Wayne, and you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm just about finished the inside. Amy's in Cochrane, where the Paz is a French native. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, Paz, answer that one. <laughs> Right, I think that'll do for that, and then we can get on to the interesting part. Robert Dolman's the Kentish in, Han Solo. Yeah, Robert Dolman's inquiring, how many times can you say just one more cut? Um, until you finally get that one more cut. That was one more cut too far. Till you join the funnel club. I like the way last night, Scott, you said one more cut. You actually took three more. Yeah, I well, was I counting. Can't, I can't count, mate. <laughs> did you notice how quiet I was last night? Yeah, we did. That was concentration, mate. We could feel you sweating. Sweating? I had to have a bath when I went in. Ah, good turn, Bla uh, Daily Blair's just joined. Afternoon, Blair. Hello, Blair. <laughs> Robert Dolman said he thought I'd lost my voice. I think my wife would wish I'd lose my voice. <clears throat> Colin Roberts says he was out of, out of bed at 5am this morning and he was in Wayne's chat... Wait in at ten past five. Actually, I don't think my wife wishes I'd lose my voice. I think she <clears throat> hopes I'd get my hearing aids out of my work bag and wear them so I don't shout. But I hate wearing them, so they live in the bottom of my work bag, which lives at work, so I can't wear them at home. What a shame. That's why you have a volume control on the telly. Just turn it up. Yeah. I can hear it if it's deafening everyone else. Ain't my fault. We always used to say that the new starters, when you when you used to train new starters in the in the care sector, you can always tell when somebody's hearing you when the batteries have run out. Yeah, they but start shouting. They start shouting. Andy said I was not noticeably quiet last night.
Yes, Amy, we, we take the mickey out of Baz because he lives closer to France than just about everybody else. Him and Jamie. They both they both basically live in France. Uh, and Mike says, is that Lee Kent or Larkin? I think it's La Kent, isn't it? <laughs> La Kent. La Kent. Amy's other half is from Cumbria. Lovely part of the country, that is. It is. <laughs> Just down the road from me. And Ian in the shed says, I've actually always wondered. I thought Baz did live in France, but kept getting confused. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, there's that too. <laughs> uh, Alfred, Maybe. returning a piece of ash. It's a piece of ripple ash. There's a wee bit of olive ash there as well. It's probably come from fairly close to the centre of the tree, this piece. And uh, Ian in the shed says, confusion seems to be a common feeling any time I'm watching lives when Mark and Scott are earworming. We're the normal ones. Mate, well, we're going to be getting our P45s, aren't we? I tell you what, that means you're going to be confused all the time with that there. We've got T-shirts that say we're qualified. Yeah. <laughs> I might even wear mine tomorrow. And a hoodie. Now, see, I bought two T-shirts instead of a T-shirt and a hoodie. Did you see the face mask? I did, but I've got loads of face masks. Mate, that's brilliant. You put it on, it looks like the worm's coming out of your mouth. <laughs> right then. So, for the colouring on this, I am going to be using... Joe Sonia's? <laughs> no. I'm going to be using... The paints would probably just cover all the grain up. Yeah. So, Scott, so what I'm going to be using is intrinsic colours. And the first one I'm going to use, I'm having a bit of a change today. So the first one I'm going to be using is forest green. And what I'm hoping is going to happen is that the forest... Oh, that is bleaching out something chronic, isn't it? Is a bit. Um, I don't think it'll matter if I put it on the, the side one. You'll probably not see it properly. I'll tell you what, I'll just move that camera. I'll just move that camera because I've finished all the hollowing and the shaving. So it doesn't really matter about having the overhead. So if I just stick this round. Drop that down. It's still bleaching a bit. Mm. Anyway, you will see the effect once the green goes on there. Yeah. So, like I say, what I'm hoping is going to happen is that the green will highlight all of the ripple in this. And then I might knock that back and stick a different colour on. We will see what happens. Move my mouse out the way. Don't want that to get sprayed. Might stop you dropping it, Wayne. True. Why is that happening? So the air guns just stopped working. Get that air gun out. Yeah. 
Ah, espera. Oh, that's highlighting the grey. Yeah, you can see the ripples now. Hmm. I'll stick some on the inside as well. I'm obviously not going to be sanding the inside. So I'll just stick some cover in there. Get my hot air gun onto that. Wayne, is that the kind of um, spray gun where you pull the trigger back for the air and push down for the paint? No, you push down for the air and you pull back for the paint. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a dual action one. In oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was the word I was looking for? Airbrush. That's it. Yes, airbrush. airbrush. Yeah. I got mine <laughs> from, from Wish. There's about eighty-five pounds for a set of six airbrushes and bottles and things like that. And Good. if you're very lucky, if you order from Wish, they make a mistake and send you two sets. <laughs> Hodgepodge Woodworks has just turned up. Good afternoon. Apologise oh, yeah. for being late. I hope you've I'm got a suitable to... note. Yeah. I'm going to knock this back with, again, some... Fo I sanded down to 400, or up to 400 originally, and now I'm going to use the 400 again just to knock this back a bit. And you should actually see where the green has actually stayed in the in the ripple and also in the inclusions as well obviously it's very true case if but is he causing trouble hairbrush no good for scott he ain't got no hair <laughs> <laughs> He's here all week. Yeah. It's only, I've, it's seen only, some, I've seen some of his baby photos and he had more hair then. It's only funny because <laughs> it's true. I keep my hair short. Which one? Oh. Uh, <laughs> right. Oh, that's this pick on Scott then? <laughs> well, yeah, because we didn't pick on you much last night. We left you alone. So, I've no, was there. what I'm going to do now is use a different <clears throat> color, and I'm going to use, I think this is honey, I'm hoping it's honey anyway, which is a, a yellow. Yeah, so we'll spray it with yellow now and see what sort of effect we get. So I've just put in the link for uh, the Hampshire Sheen Intrinsic Colors. Um, that's for the sample set, um, and it's from Martin's new uh, business venture up with Les Vaughan, the wood turning shop. <laughs> Mike, the Midnight Joker has just put a good tip in the chat. He says, "When you're using strips of for sanding." If you back the paper with carpet tape, it lasts a lot longer. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> Here we go. Sick notes. Oh, see, Amy loves me. She says I'm the wind beneath her wings. Yeah, you're oh. due a sick note soon. Oh, you've had a good run. You haven't Get been sick for room. ages. <laughs> you haven't been off for ages. What's up with you? 
Mark, did you ever know that you're my hero? <laughs> oh, God, that start. <laughs> Ooh, dear, no, not too bad. Can't call me sick note. My sick note's permanent. That's gorgeous, Wayne. Thank you. That bit, that bit there on the top now for you. No, back yeah. a bit. Back, no, back a bit. That bit there at the bottom. Here? Yeah. Further down towards the base. Just that sort of cloudy ripple. Yeah. At about your 10 o'clock now. Round here? No, towards you. Oh, here. Yeah, yeah. It all looks really great. That looks lovely. <laughs> Colin Roberts says he only went back to work on Monday and it already feels like front of sickie. I'm not allowed any sickies till the end of May. Uh, end of March. I don't do it deliberately. Jeez. You're getting lots of uh, nice comments, Wayne. Uh, Terry Brace Thank is you. looking great. Um, right. Colin Roberts, I like the eye. Janice think, is um, beautiful. I think that's the eye, is it? It does look yeah. like an eye from this <clears throat> angle, yeah. It does, yeah. Right, I'm just going to wax this. And then we'll go to part it off and you can have a, a good look at what it's like. It's the eye of the tiger. Boom, boom. Yet another song reference. <laughs> Mate, I used to be a top DJ, innit? No, um, Alfred, he used uh, the chestnut spray uh, standing sealer. Um, so that's the one I used. That's the cellulose. They also do it as an acrylic. But if I'm using water-based stains, which I just have done, I always tend to use a cellulose sealer over the top of them. If you have a look at the chestnut, um, chestnut do a download of the different products you can use with each other. And Terry actually says it doesn't matter. You can use acrylic sand and sealer on water-based stuff. Um, but it can, it's it just can a wash out a bit, can it? Yeah. It can wash out a bit, yeah. So I just tend to use the... I use yeah, cellulose can... sand and sealer with water-based stains, and I need to use acrylic sand and sealer with spirit-based stains. Um, he also does the compatibility chart. That's, as what, a... that's what I meant. I only know what it's called because I just opened my cupboard door to look at it. <laughs> Because I've got one lying about here somewhere. This workshop has got two. Um, one's joined your sticker up on the ceiling, mate, and it's on the other side of the color, uh, cupboard door. <laughs> so I asked Terry very nicely if I could have another one. Because <laughs> I can't read it up there. Um, you need to download them. I'm just having a look if you can. I will put a link up, mate. I'm on the Chestnuts website as we speak. Oh, Dale's just joined. Hello, Dale. Hiya, Dale. Hello, Dale. It doesn't look like you can download them. No, right, okay. 
Bear with me, I'm having a look. No, I'm just going to get this partnered off now. So you can download all the safety data sheets. <laughs> you are, Dale, we can see you. You are actually here today. As is everyone else. Yes, because it's wine. Everyone likes wine. <laughs> he is the wizard of wood turning. It's but sometimes. Of oh, I found it. It's, it's actually sometimes a bit dangerous using the parting tool with this type of grain because the grain is going everywhere. And the parting tool should really only be used with the grain running along the length. So Dale has just given you a super chat of five pounds. He says, oh, thank you. For the Jaffa cakes for Wednesday. He wants Wednesday. proper ones. Oh, is it Wednesday coming up, Dale? Well, I'm, sh I'm shopping on Sunday anyway, so. Now, are you wanting me to pick up the, the lone sausage deal or what? The lone sausage? What do you want? Lone sausage. sausage. All right. <laughs> so many jokes. So many possibilities. <laughs> so little time. So, I've just found the link. So, that is the link for the chestnut combat. Uh, combat. Oh, I'm having trouble today. When Dale says no, he'll yeah. get the sausage. Fine, no problem. Right, so I'm going to part this off. I, t I don't tend to use a saw. Yeah. So the chestnut compatibility chart link is there. It is downloadable. Um, as Wayne says, it tells you what products go with what, what you can use. Um, and then I'll just use my skew chisel to take the nub off the bottom. Best used for a skew. No, best used for a skew is opening tins. Yeah, that too. Right, and now I will bring out my stool, move that tool rest out of the way. Drop your mouse. Have a sit. Oh, oh bones. Thing. Hello again. It's me. I can tell it's me because I'm sat here looking at the camera. And there you go, guys. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. I like that shape that's as well. Hall of form. It has got a, a hole in the wrong one. Which way? That way. It has got a hole in the side there. Which just adds to it. I, and um, I it's been just... colored. Yeah. Can I just interrupt? Dale's just said that Sydney's had her operation and she's in recovery and feels much better. That's brilliant news, Dale. Brilliant. Fantastic. I'll make sure I pass that along to Jane. So, uh, coloured with intrinsic colours from Hampshire Sheen, forest green, put on initially, then knocked back. So it highlights all the ripple green and then finished off with um, the honey which is a, a, obviously a yellowy type of colour, and a cellulose sand and seal over the top, and um, micro, uh, chestnut microcrystalline wax over the top of that. So that's Alfred, it, guys. Alfred's asking, do you colour the bottom or do you leave it natural? I'll just, I just tend to leave it natural. Uh, what I'll do with this, since I was just being parted off, Alfred, I'll stick the uh, Jacob's Chuck into the headstock, uh, put the sanding pad on, and I'll just get the bottom sanded off, sealed and waxed as well, before it goes up for seal. Will you oh, not put a piece, piece of felt on the bottom? I might put a piece of felt on the bottom. I might go <laughs> really old school here from when I started. Filming. Yeah, I get a dig, Mark. And um, Martin at Woody Creations oh, give you a hang on, hang chat. on, hang on. Mark, send us your address. I've got something <laughs> for you. Send it via Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Martin's giving a super chat. He says, uh, Super chat for a super turner. Thanks for the demo, Wayne. 
No problem, Martin. Uh, thanks very much for the super chat. No, don't send it to me because I know what you're like. You'll get me back and just put more and more and more and more, more tape on it. <laughs> God, I, I, I don't remember the last time I used any felt. Uh, and Colin Roberts says, oh, no, not the flock. 25 years ago, probably. Yeah, it probably was. It probably was about 25 years ago. Right. I don't use it anymore. Right. I only mentioned it last night because that was one of my first bowls. And I turned <laughs> it on a faceplate and you could see the screws. You've got to cover it somehow. <laughs> yeah, I made the mistake of most I've mentioned it a couple of weeks ago. Boy, did I pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> my turn in has come on no end since then. I actually do. Oh, mate, I actually do bowls <laughs> with shape. <laughs> right, one final look, and then I'll um, press the bloody button. That looks so, awesome. Remember, guys, tomorrow I am live again, but it's at 12 o'clock, not 1 o'clock. Um, Scott's already put the, the link in a couple of few times for the, yeah. um, the virtual craft festival. I think it's going to be an absolutely brilliant day. Certainly, the uh, similar, well, not similar. Uh, there was one run by um, Easy Wood Easy. Tools um, a few weeks ago, and that was very, very popular for everybody that was on. Um, you're probably going to, for, certainly for the UK guys, you're probably going to have the same people in Ear Worman uh, throughout Hello. the day. And I'm not very sure. I, I'm not very sure on how the Americans uh, do their lives and everything. I would think Carl will probably just have Robin in. Yeah. Um, but I'm not very sure how the other guys are going to be doing that. But it's going to be a good day anyway. So please come along and join in. Um, there are some uh, pretty big YouTubers and well-known names coming in, and there are some pretty small ones as well. So it'd be good to give them support as well as the the well-known ones. So, um, yeah. So hopefully sure. I will see you all again tomorrow. Make sure um, you uh, keep your other halves happy today, because then you can get away with tomorrow spending all day watching YouTube. Oh, yeah. Jane knows I'm already doing that. In fact, I think I think Jane's already, because um, uh, Deal put it up as an event on his yeah. page, and Jane's yeah, already so said she's going to be joining in with that anyway. So yeah. Right, guys, I am um, going to press the bloody button. And uh, if I don't see you tomorrow, I will be back on Monday, lunchtime, where we'll be doing something else. These the, these ones there, I never have any idea what I'm doing tend to turn out pretty good. So <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll make my mind up on Monday what I'm going to do. <laughs> right, guys, I'm off. I appreciate everybody coming in. Much appreciated for the, the super chats. And I'll see you all again later. Bye for now. Bye, everyone. Bye.